A long time ago, when all was less purposeful, rock and roll thrived despite being called the devil's music. Homegrown bands flourished in a spontaneous scene. But when rock and roll grew its hair long and started believing in Timothy Leary's psychedelic visions, it became an easy target for Big Brother's show of strength and totalitarian control. It didn't help that Woodstock mounted enough mud and freedom for Big Brother to label the whole movement a Western decadence. Local discotheques were closed, shut down. There was no no season for a good three decades. No jukeboxes, no chopper bikes, and no entertainment venue could be named with the word club. Why? Who knows the arm-twisting logic now of a system hungry on inventing itself as an international glory? Because simple nation-building sans paranoia just won't do. Officially, long hair males were served last in any civil office. Discrimination upheld in the name of wholesome society. Just the beginning of how bigotry was made of virtue. No long hair band could be seen on TV or heard on radio unless it was ABBA or the like with a flatline sound. To ensure that stringent controls were in place, elaborate and outrageous measures were taken to run local rock bands down. The live rock scene was conveniently handed over to obedient Filipino cover bands on a hotel buffet platter. Bluntly put, rock and roll, the spirit of it, was not to be tolerated on our Asian family value shores. Music has to be about nation building, so it's communal la di -da singing your way home for our one nation and her one people. Ironically, communism was revived, so was Marxism, where nothing could be more apparent than the seeds of fascism being sowed. When I previously sang, they murdered rock and banned the skates, I wasn't kidding. Yes, they did build a park years later to mask the hate, figuratively too, to safeguard ill will among the young freed by the internet. There was a ban on slam dancing, moshing, body surfing, brought about by a leading front page headline in the local paper touting paternalism with a picture of kids having fun at a one-off Rollins band gig in town. Would you let your child do this? Hell yeah! We let our young do a whole lot more. Serve the net, stay up late, get drunk in dance clubs open all night. No song is banned anymore. Even Motley Crue came laughing, live, shouting at the devil uncensored. The dawn of the new internet era has torn down Big Brother's self-righteous Asian family values flag. In its place, a desperate resort to foster poker-faced blackjacks and greedy roulettes, raising the root of all evil to blinker up the past. Money see, money do, monkeys no tell too. At most, the flag flies have mast now, masking austere control, gently flapping where the wind blows, very gently. Singer hell, you got it coming. Imploding with condescension all over your paranoid, paternalistic face. No, no. Yes, yes.